Hello guys, and today I have got a second inform Angela player review. He is the Italian centre back for Watford in the Empire Championship. One of those many uh, Udinese players playing for Watford. I put him in my second silver team, and let me just say that Inform Tavano is really, really good at set of forward. I slated him in my review before, but he's an amazing player in that position. Back to Angela. He's a six foot three centre back, which is understandable as to why he only has fifty eight pace. Uh, his, his stats on his card don't actually look that good overall. He cost me 69k. Uh, he's a bit cheaper on the uh, PS3, I think. It's about 30 to 50k. On the Xbox, I really don't know what his price is. It's like sometimes it's 50k, sometimes it's 80k. So, really unreliable prices. Three star weak foot and two star skill moves average for a centre back. And uh, his stats don't look too good on the card, but in game, they look do look a bit better. Obviously, his shooting isn't going to be that good for a centre-back, but he does have 91 shot power, which means inside the box, he could be dangerous if the ball falls to him at the in the corner inside the box. Uh, Why well, I say inside the box twice? I do not know. His defending stats actually look pretty decent. He's got 80 marking, 68 slide tackle, which EA just don't seem to upgrade this year, 80 stand tackle, 84 strength, 82 aggression, and 80 interceptions. His passing isn't that good. But um, he does have 76 heading and he's 6'3", but his jumping is only 67, which is a bit disappointing. Uh, he's got medium-medium work rates as well, which I actually did find quite odd because he didn't really seem to have those work rates. I would have actually said he had low attacking and high defensive, as most centre-backs do have. And all his other stats don't really seem to be that good, just the greens being his uh, defending stats, basically. So um, that's his in-game stats, and we'll move on into some gameplay now first of all in terms of defending I actually thought he was a pretty good player defending wise his slide tackles were normally good most of the time he did execute them pretty well uh, sometimes he didn't and sometimes he did his stand tackles were also pretty decent as well this tackle uh, actually did lead to a goal or it should have led to a goal if the guy didn't quit and um, yeah stand tackles are actually the best thing about him really Got the ball, stood strong, and he could play a simple pass to start the attack again. As you can see there, slide tackle's not always the best, and he did actually score my opponent this time. But um, his interceptions are good as well. They were another really good uh, thing I liked about him. Uh, they, they do lead to goals if he does rush up and get an interception. It can lead to goals, as it did here. So, um, yeah, it, he does help out in defence. And I know he's not the quickest, but uh, he does a good job, and he's probably one of the better uh Silver Italian centre backs, although I would rate uh, Arialdo, Team Season Terranova, Santa Croce, and Manfredini above him. So, um, a lot of players above him, you know, four centre backs above him. Otherwise, you know, decent player, strong, good at tackling, and good at interceptions. Now, his heading he's six foot three. You think he'd be good at heading? No, wrong. Out jump there, and a similar clip he got out jump both sides. Uh, sorry, both times. He's not even goal side. Not even goal side and he's a defender. Not too sure what's wrong there. His head in accuracy is actually good, but actually getting up in the air for someone who's six foot three, he's not good at all. That was worrying. And another worrying thing was his pace. As you can see, over the top balls he's gonna be vulnerable to. And uh, when you got wingers running down the flanks, he's gonna get out pace pretty much all the time. So uh, sometimes it didn't lead to goal, sometimes it did. Either way, it's causing trouble for you in defence and you, you could you know, concede some goals. He did well there, but again, outpaced. Only 58 pace for, for a centre-back. You know, in, in silver games, pace, you know, is one of the key things uh, in the game, and it's, it's, it's troublesome for your defence. So uh, I did just leave a goal at the end. He did score a penalty for me, but we'll move on into the conclusion, his uh, strengths and weaknesses. First of all, I thought he was very good at tackling, uh, such as his slide tackle. Was majority of the time good. His stand tackle and interceptions were good. Um, bad things, price, ve uh, well, pretty expensive and you can get a lot cheaper options as well. Heading, unreliable, should have been a lot better. And of course his pace wasn't very good at all. Overall, I give him a 6.5 out of 10 rating. He was a decent at uh, defending. Of course, he's going to be vulnerable uh, in terms of pace. He's, he's going to get out pace a lot. And his heading should be a lot better for someone who's six foot three. Uh, didn't seem to get on the end of corners. Got out jumped a lot of the time by a lot of smaller players. So, you know, not the best defenders. I recommend a lot better defenders like Manfredini, Arialdo, Santa Croce, and Team of the Season Terranova. But cheers for watching, guys. 
sorry it's a bit late we're uh, getting this review out five days late but uh, please leave a like I'd really appreciate it I know it's a silver in film centre back that not many of you care about but that's what I gotta do have a good day guys goodbye